Kane is here with us in studio. <laughs> And, you know, one of the details that you really look at quite a bit and you love is hardware. I do. It can make all the difference. And you know what? It can be really overwhelming or really great. So yes. when you're doing a whole house, you think about, you know, you've got cabinet hardware, you've got door hardware, and you've got door stops. Mm -hmm. And people never, ever think about door stops when they're planning their home. Yes. So, and you would imagine that most times you're going to have something more like this, which yep. is a conventional door stop. It mounts on the wall. But there's so many other choices. Yeah. There can be wall mounted, there can mm -hmm. be floor mounted, and there can be contemporary, oh, wow. and there can be traditional. So when you're thinking about your hardware, you really want to consider your different options. And right from the beginning, yeah. you want to talk about finish. So again, okay. whether you're going to be chrome or brass yeah. or satin brass. And even when you look at, so your door stops here, for instance, you want to look at um, wall mounted, if, for instance, you're doing a front entry or a bathroom and you've got in-floor heat, you definitely want a wall-mounted doorstop. Right. If you're not, you can do a floor-mounted doorstop. Again, square if you're going really clean, really simple. Rounded, you can have a giant rubber bumper. Yeah. So there's so many different options that you can incorporate into something as simple as a doorstop. A doorstop. Let's take a look at a couple of examples we have uh, just photographs of. So this is the one you were saying um, right in the wall. Wall mounted. Yep. A again, very contemporary, mounted up high So it, because we had the heat of floor. Right. So you want that. And then this one, which is this from the is floor. Floor mounted. Again, rubber bumper. Just a little bit easier to move around and not so contemporary. Yep. And the, th and the other one we have is... Again, another yep. floor mounted little bit higher because the door was coming out of the, the cabinet so the, the, the actual bumper needed to be higher off the floor yep. than conventional height. The great thing about all of these is that your dog won't chew them. Because well, we have the old school ones that's just like little coil and he's like -y 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 -y, and he's like chewing it all the know. time. My dog actually might go to town on one of these. Like, make it a rubber one. <laughs> exactly. The rubber one's appealing. Yeah. For sure. But it, when I say you're a detail woman, like look at all of these options that none of us ever think about. Like that's no, it, incredible. And these are the little things that are going to make you love your home if like every little detail is handled. Okay, so let's move on. Um, to vents. Yes, yeah, so say for instance, again, you've got an older home yes. and you've got a cast iron um, uh, radi radiator yes. in the uh, hallway and you want your front entry to be beautiful. So yeah. typically we cover them with a simple millwork box and then do some mesh. Well, yep. mesh today has changed as well. So you can do these gorgeous contemporary style polished nickel mesh instead of painting it white. Yep. Another one to show you. I'll hold this one for you. Thank you, honey. Because I really want them to see this. This is one so cool. is just stunning. I would actually introduce this not only for the, um, for like a Red grill covers. cover for a mesh, yeah. I would put this on cabinetry as well. So mm. if you want to have, a, uh, rather than doing a glass door, yeah. you can do something like this for cabinetry door. Very nice. Let's take a look now at a hinge. So that's another piece of hardware that uh, you might not be thinking about. There's options out there for you. Um, that's a beautiful hinge. How would you describe that one? <laughs> so that's called a sauce hinge. Yeah. So that's completely concealed. When you close that door, the hinge completely disappears. Okay. Now, if you don't have the opportunity to do that, you're just changing out your door, you're changing out your hardware on an existing space, you can do something that's really, again, more contemporary. So this hardware here is square, very clean, and again, it's more like a piece of jewelry. It doesn't yeah. look like your, your standard door hardware. So when it is exposed, it's beautiful. And then that's gonna tie in with the rest of the hardware that you've chosen throughout the rest of the house. Okay. For instance, this is a beautiful, contemporary, clean-lined cabinet, not cabinet, fridge pole. Oh, it's a fridge pole. Okay. okay. So fridge poles, again, have come a long way because we're paneling refrigerators, yes. we're paneling dishwashers. So rather than doing a knob on a dishwasher or a, a, um, a small handle, you do something like this. Yep. You can hang your tea towel from it. Mm. It gives you a lot more options. Very nice. And then from there, you choose your cabinet hardware that ties in with that. So all different sizes, polished nickel, clean lined. Or you can go with this beautiful lucite. So this is actually glass. Ooh, so excuse me. So very glamorous, very uh, sophisticated. Mm -hmm. But I like the fact that there's so many different choices. You've got this little tiny orb, or you've got this beautiful long glass pull. Yeah. And again, when you're pulling it all together, you have to think about, are you satin nickel, which is what we have here? Mm -hmm. Are you satin brass, 
which is what you have here. So yep. this is all um, door hardware, entry door hardware. Yep. Black is new, the latest and greatest finish that everybody's going with as Everyone's well. Everyone's going for it. The 80s are back, but of course we're doing it differently than the 80s. We are. It's a black matte and it looks very sophisticated. And it's also um, very contemporary as well. It's very contemporary. And if you're doing the satin brass, you yeah. bring it again into your cabinet hardware. And if you want to go something very, very sophisticated, mm -hmm. latest and greatest, is wood poles coupled with these gorgeous metal finishes. That's beautiful. And then again, this is your cabinet knob. It's super nice, like a little piece of jewelry. Yeah. And that will elevate the look of your home, your cabinetry, yep. your door hardware. It just really does make all the difference. See, if I saw, if I went to the store and saw all these options, I'd want to take a nap immediately. That's too much. <laughs> There's not. Because that, there's a lot, but that but you have to figure out who you are. Right. Like, am I a brush knuckle girl? Am I a matte girl? Am I a shiny girl? Or you go get Karen Kane to help you. You do. <laughs> and she'll tell you. And Just call her. <laughs> the beauty of it is you can actually mix these finishes. So That's if you, true. If you want to go a little bit more classic on your door hardware, mm -hmm. so do the black door hardware, but mix it with satin brass cabinet poles. Yeah. That tension and that, that interest in the room really does make hot, it a hot, lot hot. more... Um, I don't know, just unexpected. Yeah, it yeah. is. Thanks for the lesson, KK.